Have a great day. Our devotion for today is about How much do we care about justice? Abraham asked God to be fair and to show mercy to those who did not deserve it. In Genesis 18, 17 to 33, 17, Should I hide my plan from Abraham? The Lord asked. 18, For Abraham will certainly become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth will be blessed through him. 19, I have singled him out so righteous people living there in the city Will you still sweep it away and not spare it for their sakes? 25. Surely you wouldn't do such a thing, destroying the righteous along with the wicked. Why you would be treating the righteous and the wicked exactly the same? Surely you wouldn't do that. Should not the judge of all the earth do what is right? 26. And the Lord replied, If I find fifty righteous people in Sodom, I will spare the entire city for their sake. 27. Then Abraham spoke again, Since I have begun, let me speak further to my Lord. Even though I am but dust and ashes. 28. Suppose there are only 45 righteous people rather than 50. Will you destroy the whole city for lack of five? And the Lord said, I will not destroy it if I find 45 righteous people there. 29. Then Abraham pressed his request further. Suppose there are only forty. And the Lord replied, I will not destroy it for the sake of the forty. 30. Please don't be angry, my Lord, Abraham pleaded. Let me speak. Suppose only thirty righteous people are found. And the Lord replied, I will not destroy it if I find thirty. 31. Then Abraham said, Since I have dared to speak to the Lord, let me continue. Suppose there are only twenty. And the Lord replied, Then I will not destroy it for the sake of the twenty. 32. Finally, Abraham said, Lord, please don't be angry with me if I speak one more time. Suppose only ten are found there. And the Lord replied, Then I will not destroy it for the sake of the ten. 33. When the Lord had finished his conversation with Abraham, he went on his way, and Abraham returned to his tent. God had heard about the bad things that were happening in Sodom and Gomorrah. The strangers who had come to see Abraham went on to see if the people there were as bad as everyone believed. If they were, the cities would be destroyed. Abraham knew that God was fair. So he asked, Will you spare the cities if only 50 good people live there? God said, I will spare them. Abraham asked again, What if there are 45 good people? God said, I will spare them. Abraham kept asking until finally he said, Please, Lord, will you spare the cities 
if only 10 good people live there, God promised that he would not destroy them for the sake of just 10 good people. Did Abraham change God's mind? Of course not. The more likely answer is that God changed Abraham's mind. Abraham knew that God is just and that he punishes sin, but he may have wondered about God's mercy. Abraham seemed to be proving God's mind to see how merciful he really was. He left his conversation with God, convinced that God was both kind and fair. Our prayers won't change God's mind, but they may change ours, just as Abraham's prayer change his. Prayer helps us better understand the mind of God. Why did God let Abraham question his justice and intercede for a wicked city? Abraham knew that God must punish sin, but he also knew from experience that God is merciful to sinners. God knew there were not ten righteous people in the city, but he was merciful enough to allow Abraham to intercede. He was also merciful enough to help Lot, Abraham's nephew, get out of Sodom before it was destroyed. God does not take pleasure in destroying the wicked, but he must punish sin. He is both just and merciful. We should be thankful that God's mercy extends to us. God gave the men of Sodom a fair test. He was not ignorant of the city's wicked practices, but in his fairness and patience, he gave the people of Sodom one last chance to repent. God is still waiting, giving people the opportunity to turn to him. Those who are wise will turn to him before his patience wears out. Was God being unfair to the people of Sodom? Did he really plan to destroy the righteous with the wicked? On the contrary, God's fairness stood out. 1. He agreed to spare the entire city if only 10 righteous people lived there. 2. He showed great mercy toward Lot, apparently the only man in the city who had any kind of relationship with him. 3. He showed great patience toward Lot, almost forcing him to leave Sodom before it was destroyed. Remember God's patience when you are tempted to think he is unfair. Even the most godly people deserve his justice. We should be glad God doesn't direct his justice toward us as he did toward Sodom. God showed Abraham that asking for anything is allowed with the understanding that God's answers come from God's perspective. They are not always in harmony with our expectations, for only he knows the whole story. Are you missing God's answer to a prayer because you haven't considered any possible answers 
other than the one you expect. That's the word for today and let us pray. Forgiving, merciful, and loving God, thank you for this day. Thank you, Father God, for your word that encourages us once again and for reminding us of God. Father God, help us to pray for those things that really matter and uh, not give up. Father God, indeed, you are both just and merciful. And thank you, O oh Father God, that your mercy extends to us. Thank you. We give you praise. We give you the glory, adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.